In this video, we are gonna proceed to question three by following the same steps we did for questions one and two. There is going to be one major difference though that I wanna make sure we point out. We're gonna have a little bit of a glitch happen in our game and I'm gonna show you how to fix it and why it's happening. So it's actually not a bad thing uh, because we are gonna fix it. So let's go ahead and create our next question sprite in order to move us from question two to question three. And you may be thinking, wait a minute, we already have a next question sprite, but this one is coded to go to question two. So we need a new one that's coded to go to question three. So I'm just gonna right click on it and choose duplicate. And I see I have a new next question sprite here. I'm gonna click and drag that one over top, our existing next question. And I need to make sure that the script for this sprite is correct. So with this sprite selected, I'm gonna look at the script and I see something that we need to change. Right now we have when this sprite is clicked, we're gonna broadcast continue to two. No, we need to actually say continue to three. So I'm gonna type continue to three here in the message name box and choose okay. And I'm gonna choose continue to three down here as well so that when it does receive the continue to three broadcast, it will hide. All right, so that's it for creating and coding the next question sprite. Now we need to add a question three and the answer choices for question three. So let's go up to our costume for questions and let's go and copy our question two costume by right clicking and choosing duplicate. And then with this question selected, I'm gonna go into our editor and change those twos to three, okay? And notice that when I copied the question, it automatically re renamed us uh, it to question three, so we're good there. Okay, so our question's good. Now let's copy some answer choices. So for each choice A, B, and C for question two, I'm just gonna right click and duplicate in order to be able to get answer choices for question three. Okay, and now that I have the answer choices for question three, I need to rename each of these so that we can easily identify what answer choices they are. I'm gonna right click and choose info for each one and instead of Q2A, we're gonna change that two to a three and make sure we put either a no or a yes at the end of each sprite name to indicate if it is correct or incorrect. So for choice A, I put no. For choice B, we are actually gonna make this one the correct answer, so it's gonna be named Q3B, and then yes. And for choice C, we're gonna rename it to be Q3C, and keep that no on the end. All right, now you can actually, if you want to, change the costume names for these as well. Um, I think I forgot to do it when we moved to question two. Uh, it doesn't really affect anything, so we're good either way, but I did want to point out to you that you could also change the costume names to match the sprite names. So the next thing I need to do is to move these sprites to be over top our answer choices for question two. All right, so that looks good. And now let's code each of these answer choices. So when we duplicated the sprite, we, we kept the script, which is great. But what we need to do is to change these drop down menus. So when I receive continue to two, it needs to change to when I can see, receive continue to three. And for this question, this is an incorrect answer, so we're gonna broadcast no. Now for choice B, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna choose continue to three, but now we're gonna broadcast yes because it's a correct answer. And for choice C, we're gonna continue to three and broadcast no, we can just leave it like it is because it is an incorrect answer. So now we have coded our answer choices. Let's also make sure in our questions code that we switch to the right costume when the time comes. So what we're gonna do is add, essentially copy this code to add when I receive continue to three. So I'm gonna go to events and choose when I receive continue to three, we're gonna switch that costume to show question three, 
and we will just keep the X and Y in the same place. So I'm going to use forever and go to the X and Y. So we're good there. We have now correctly coded our answer choices and also our question three. One thing we need to do is to hide the answer choices from question two. It may not be apparent they're still there because we have our answer choices for question three over top of them, but we do need to make sure that we hide those. So for each one of answer choices for question two, I'm gonna add a script that says, when I receive, continue to three. So now we're on the third question. I'm going to disappear or hide. And I need to do that for each of the answer choices for question two. So again, you're just putting in when I receive, continue to three. I am going to hide. And now let's do it for choice C. And choose hide. All right. So now we've done most of what we need to for question three. But one thing that we also need to take a look at is our answer sprite. So our answer sprite says when it receives continue to two, it's gonna change to blank. So now we're moving to question three, so we need to add another event that says when I receive continue to three, I am going to switch my costume to blank. So we're not hiding it, we're just switching it to blank. Okay, so now we're gonna test our game and see what happens by clicking the green flag and I'm gonna choose start. And for question one, we had choice C is the correct answer. Oh, what happened? We just went from question one to question three. This is the glitch that I was telling you guys about earlier in the video. So let's talk about why this is happening and what we can do to fix it. It's happening because we need to designate each of our three correct answer choices for questions one, two, and three as yes one, yes two, and yes three. Because right now, when we have yes, when we click on the answer choice that's correct for choice question one, it's sending that yes broadcast, which we had told to use in several of our other scripts to switch to the next question. So. In this case, we'd also use the yes broadcast to switch to question three. So our, our game's getting a little bit confused here. So the way we can fix that is by designating a yes for question one that's different from the yes for question two and different from the yes for question three. So what I'm gonna do is leave the answer choices for question one just like they are, that's fine. For question choice two, I'm gonna click on the correct answer. And when this sprite is clicked broadcast yes, we're actually gonna change that. So I'm gonna create a new message and this one's just gonna be called yes to. So now, now we have distinguished this sprite and this signal from the correct answer choice from question one. And I'm gonna change the correct answer for question three to not broadcast yes, but to instead broadcast yes three. Okay, so now let's just test our game again. All right, and it's still going to question three. Well, that's because we need to do just a little bit more work uh, to designate those yes threes from those yes twos from those yes ones. So I'm gonna come into our answer sprite and we have when i receive yes switch costume to correct let's go ahead and also add when i receive yes two switch the costume to correct and when i receive yes three let's switch that costume to correct so i can do that under events when i receive yes two switch to correct and when I receive yes three, switch costume to correct, okay? Now for the incorrect answers, we don't need to do anything. We're all good there. 
So let me just look at my next question button here. So the next question button we have for the for the button between questions two and three, we still have it saying when I receive yes up here at the top of our script. We need to change that to yes too. So when I receive a correct answer for question number two, that's how I know to go to the next question. So let's just test it and see what happens now. Okay, we got to question two, perfect. Now I'm gonna choose choice A. Yay, we got to question three. And I chose choice B, which is correct. And yeah, our game is working. So in the next video, we're gonna look at how to restart the game because now we know how to add questions. You can add as many questions as you want. Uh, just make sure that you designate the answer choices as broadcasting different signals. Um, so that you don't have the same answer choice broadcasting the same signal, which confuses the code. Um, Again, in the next video, we are going to learn how to restart the game. I look forward to seeing you there.